Hello and welcome to this BSI presentation on ISO 50001, the Energy Management System Standard. We're here to demystify and bust any myths relating to ISO 50001. We want to explain in the simplest sense what ISO 50001 is, why you might want to do it, what its implementation involves, what resources you might need and our top 10 tips to get you started. We want to make ISO 50001 as easy as possible to successfully implement and to show you that it makes good business sense. So what's this ENMS everyone keeps talking about? Well, ENMS is an abbreviated term for Energy Management System. ISO 50001 is an ENMS that has been developed by a committee of international experts through a consensus process and through a tightly controlled approval procedure. The process has been overseen by the International Standards Organization, or ISO. If you manage your energy already, you may be thinking, what's different? Well, ISO 50001 provides a basis or framework for managing your energy performance in a systematic and logical approach. It also uses consistent terminology that everyone can understand. The framework follows the PDCA cycle, Plan, do, check, act. This is a continual improvement cycle that forms the basis of most ISO standards. ISO 50001 is also looking for an improvement in your energy performance over time. This means understanding your significant energy uses, setting targets for performance improvement, developing and implementing an action plan, and then measuring your energy performance improvement. And once you've done all of that, repeating and reviewing the cycle of performance improvement. ISO 50001 is systematic in approach. If you don't already manage your energy in any form, then it provides a logical starting point. Either way, as a management system standard, it requires each stage in the process to be documented making it easy for you or any one of your colleagues to understand where the organisation is within the PDCA cycle. ISO 50001 also highlights the commitment required from within your organisation. Top management have to be committed to improving energy performance or the implementation of an energy management system will simply fail. They need not be involved in the day-to-day -day operations but they do need to ensure that the right resources are made available for ISO 50001 to work. So why implement ISO 50001 in the first place? Well, to start with, there's the impending EU Energy Efficiency Directive. Article 8 of the directive requires that all non-SME private sector organisations with over 250 employees to undertake energy audits on a periodic basis. By implementing ISO 50001, you will most likely undertake an energy audit as part of the process. Providing evidence of an energy audit will help you meet this part of the directive. But we like to think it's more about the money it's going to save you as a business, as well as a reduction in your energy consumption and carbon footprint improving your green credentials. Let's see how other organisations have fared after implementing ISO 50001. Morgan Lovell, a leading office interior design, fit-out and refurbishment specialist, achieved a 30% reduction in their electricity usage. Sheffield Hallam University reduced carbon emissions by 11% and a total energy savings by £120,000 per year. Thornhill Plate Heat Exchangers, an SME already certified to ISO 9001, also identified total cost savings of £150,000 per year. Council Far, a leading manufacturer of air filters that was already certified to ISO 14001, also identified a £200,000 reduction in the energy bills after implementing ISO 50001. Although they already had an energy audit system in place, 
The logical approach of 50,001 made them look at all their significant energy uses, which was key in identifying areas of improvement that had previously been overlooked. And finally, SolarCup Europe, an SME specialising in producing single-use food and drinks containers, implemented ISO 50001 because, as an SME, they could see the rising cost of energy. Every penny saved was a penny added to the bottom line. Here's what Tony Waters, MD, had to say. With the probability of ever-rising energy bills, it makes sense for a business to eliminate waste by getting a grip on its energy usage. ISO 50001 is instrumental in improving business performance by managing energy more efficiently and so reducing our carbon impact. As you can see, ISO 50001 is not limited to any one sector or size or shape of an organisation. Nor is it purely about the rising cost of energy. Carbon emission reduction, corporate social responsibility and sustainability are all aspects to consider when implementing the standard. Andrew Whitehorn is Head of Sustainable Business at Virador, a leading waste management company. He said that achieving ISO 50001 not only helps shape our own desire to be a socially responsible business, but demonstrates to our customers and stakeholders that Virador is committed to transforming itself into a company with reduced costs and less reliance on fossil fuels, ready for the future. And that's just a sprinkling of UK case studies. Globally, the uptake of ISO 50001 has been steady, with an increased uptake in countries where there have been government incentivisation schemes, such as Germany, South Africa and Ireland. More information on the case studies I have mentioned can be found on the BSI website at www.bsigroup.co.uk Just type in ISA 50001 in the search button.